You might be going through something in this very moment. You might be struggling through something in this very moment. Maybe you're you're working towards being better at your sport, trying to get a scholarship, trying to hunt your dream of being in the NFL or being in the NBA. Maybe you're not sure if you if you want to do that thing called being a lawyer or do that thing called being a doctor right now in the moment because right now it's challenging. Right now it's too hard. You might be in the middle of some tumultuous times in a relationship with your child or your spouse. And you might be telling yourself, what's the use? I mean, I mean, what's the use? I'm not gonna make it to the NBA. I'm not gonna be in the NFL. I'm not gonna be a doctor. I'm not gonna be a lawyer. Or this relationship is not gonna work. What's the use? Well, I wanna, I wanna share with you guys something that, that I'm so glad I know now. And I'm so glad I never told myself What's the use? You see, I wanted to play in the NFL from an early age, from the age of eight. I didn't make it to the NFL, but I never told myself what's the use when I was hunting it. You see, I, I didn't become a chief financial officer of some big company like I had envisioned when I first began my pursuit of being a CFO but I never told myself, what's the use? It's too hard, I'm too inexperienced. Right, no one's hiring black CFOs. I never told myself, what's the use? And when I first became a father, the hardest job in the world to do, and times were tough, and I was doing my best to be the best leader, the best role model I could for two young people to be. And I would yell, I would scream. I would reset the reset button almost every day trying to go back and start over again. But I never told myself, what's the use? And so now after all that journey of hunting and chasing a football career, of hunting and chasing a finance career that has led me to, of all things, trying to be a speaker, trying to be a motivator, trying to be a writer, trying to be a course, creator, it's trying to be a teacher. Not just of my kids, not just of my students, but of anybody who wants to hunt greatness. And I realized recently that I got here because I never told myself, what's the use? You see what happens along the way to our dreams. What happens along the way to our goals, what happens along the way to that version of us that we dream of is that two things happen. One of two things, either we make it to the NBA, we make it to the NFL, we get that scholarship, we make it to med school, we become a lawyer, we build that dream family, we build that dream relationship with our children, we build that dream body. What happens along the way is that we learn to honor the journey, right? But what often happens is we shift gears and we end up somewhere else that was meant for us, somewhere else that God envisioned for us. But what I learned is every step along the journey was important for both paths. Every step, every lesson, every pursuit of every dream along the way was important for either path, whether you make it to your dream, the original one, or the second one, or the third one, whether you make it or you end up shifting gears 
The important thing is that you understand the way I do now that I didn't then, that you can never ask yourself, what's the use? Because in those moments, what I realized is I learned the most important element in the journey, the most important skill, the most important tool in the journey, and that is an unconditional love, an unconditional respect, an unconditional honoring of your vision, honoring of the work involved to get to your vision, honoring of the work involved to become that best version of you, honoring, if you will, of the hours along the way. Because only by doing that can you achieve your dream. Only if you grind and push in every moment can you get to that small, minuscule opportunity of the NFL, that small, minuscule opportunity of being a doctor, that small, especially today, that small, minuscule opportunity of having a fruitful relationship. Right? That's only possible if you dive in head first and tell your dream, I'm going to do what I got to do regardless of outcome. I'm going to do what I got to do regardless of anything coming back to me. I'm going to be in it just for the love of you. The love of the, of the process. The love of the journey. The love of the dream. Right? But what happens, guys, and this is what I want you guys to understand and hear. Even if you don't make it to whatever that original idea was, you don't know what God has planned for you. You don't know what the universe has planned for you. All you know is the current version of the dream, the current version of the vision, right? And in that vision, in that journey, is something you must learn, something you must attain before moving on to the next step. But that lesson is only released to you after you honor it. After you remove all expectations from it. That lesson you need to move on to the next step is only available to those who give of themselves. To those who say, you know what? I'm not going to say what's the use. I'm not going to ask what's in it for me right now. I'm just going to do what I came to do. I'm going to do what you ask me to do. And so I know it's easy for us when we're in those troughs, when we're in those valleys, chasing our, our vision, chasing our dreams. I know it's hard and I know it's easy for us to say, you know what, what's the use? I'm never going to lose weight. I'm never going to be a starting point guard. I'm never going to be a doctor. I'm never going to get straight A's. I'm never going to fix this relationship with my daughter. We fight all the time. I'm never going to do this. What's the use? Well, the use is this. Whatever you need to garner from this moment, you must give up yourself. You must commit. You must endure the pain. You must endure uh, the setbacks in order to get what you need from this moment, I had to give up myself completely to football in order to get from that chase, from that hunt, what I needed for now. To be a leader, to be a father. I had to give up myself completely, unconditionally to my hunt to be a CFO. In order to get from that what I needed for now. To be a better husband, to be a better speaker, right? And every step along the way, you have to do that, right? Don't ask, right? Don't ask what I'm getting from it. Don't ask what's the use. Just give of yourself completely and fully and unconditionally, right? Don't ask what's the use. Don't ask, why am I doing this? Just tell yourself, I'm going to love my dream, my vision, the work involved, the whole damn process. I'm going to love that unconditionally.